Creole Parametric is history-based and feature-based, so understanding the order in which features appear in a part model and the order in which components appear in an assembly helps you understand that model's design intent. And to step through the different features, you can go to the Tools tab and click on the Model Player. Before I do that, though, I'm going to add a column to the model tree for the feature number so I can have that information. And let's turn on the display of all the different datums. Also, I'm going to go to my layers and make all the different layers visible because, again, I might have some features that aren't visible and I want to understand the order in which the features appear here in the model. All right, quick repaint. Go back to the Tools tab and let's click on the Model Player. And here in this dialog box, you have buttons where you can step back one or step back all the way to the first feature. And now I can't see anything. I'll step through. And here's feature number one, feature number two, feature number three. And I'm just clicking through. Here we have some copy geometry features. And now I have my first solid feature, feature number nine in here. And again, by stepping through, it's helping me understand the design intent behind how this particular part was created. And when you are stepping through here, alternatively, you can grab the slider bar and slide through if you want to move a bit quicker through here. And now we can see we're at feature number 174 in here. You also have the option to regenerate features after every single step or displaying different features. And I'm going to just scroll down over here and I want to figure out, let's see, let's try going up a few more features. I'm going to use the pick icon and just pick the protrusion that I want. And inside of here, if you click on Show Dimensions, it'll show you any different dimensions that are associated with that particular feature. Clicking Feature Info will bring open the browser and will show you the feature information. So for example, parents, children, the feature element data, uh, any dimensions and layers that are associated with the feature as well. Let's collapse this. And when you are done stepping through, if you want to get all the way to the end, you can use this button over here and it'll advance through to the last feature and bring all the other features back. All right, so I have my assembly model open. And before I go into the model player in this particular model, I'm just going to grab some of these exterior components and go to model display component display style and change it to wireframe. Just make it a little easier to see some of the different internal components. Now when I go to tools and model player, it gives a warning that the model player mechanism is based on a linear regeneration model. Using the model player and assemblies with external references and assembly level features is not recommended. That's okay, we can still use this. Let's click back to the very first feature. And again, we can step through and we have our different datum planes in here. I have my datum visibility turned off, but there we can start seeing the different components in the order in which they are added into the model. And for components, you'll see that sometimes we have individual parts, other times we have sub-assemblies showing up in here. So again, now we're seeing the order in which these components were added to the model. And let's click the advance to the end. And we're back to all the different components in the assembly. And we can finish out of here. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.